Hi there. Now, if you'd like to try this question where we're given the first differential of f of x and we're asked to find f of x. So uh, just give you a moment to pause the video if you'd like to try it. And when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So in order to find f of x, y being equal to f of x, since I know what f of x differentiated is, it's up here, then to work backwards, I've got to integrate this. So I've got to integrate 3 eighths of x squared minus the 10x to the power minus a half and then plus one. There's more than one term here, so put that in brackets and we're integrating it all with respect to x. And in the usual way, assuming that you're okay with integration, we just have one to the power and divide by the new power. So for this one, we've got three eighths times, and if we have one to the power of x squared, you've got x cubed and you divide by the new power. So you've got 3 eighths times x cubed over 3. For the next one, we've got minus 10. And if we add 1 to the power, we get x to the power half. And then we divide by that new power, a half. And lastly, for the constant, when you're integrating a constant, remember you just attach an x to it. So it's going to be 1x, or just simply x. And also, don't forget, you've got a constant of integration, which I'll call plus c. Now we need to tidy up our terms. So in this first term here, I notice the threes cancel. So we end up with this equaling x cubed over 8, or 1 eighth x cubed, up to you how you write that. And then for this next one, 10 divided by a half is 20. Half goes into 10 20 times. So you've got minus 20 x to the power half, and then plus x, and then plus the constant of integration c. Now we need to work out what the constant c is, and to do this, if we call this equation 1, we use this point here. We know the curve passes through the point 425, so in other words, when x is 4, y will be 25. So if I just put that down here, that when x equals 4, we know that y equals 25. And so what I can do is sub these values into equation 1 here. And if we just border that off, then what we've got is that in place of y, we've got 25. So therefore, 25 equals x cubed. That's going to be 4 cubed divided by 8 minus 20 times x to the power a half. So that's 4 to the power a half, or basically the square root of 4. And then we've got plus x, that's plus 4, and then plus c. So 4 cubed, well, that's 64. 64 divided by 8, that gives us 8. So what we've got here is 25 equals 8 minus 20 times square root of 4 is 2. 22s are 40 plus the 4 plus the C. And I can see then that we've got minus 28 here. And if I add 28 then to both sides, I get C equals 25 plus 28, which is 53. And so if I substitute this back in to 1, we find that we've got f of x, okay, I'll just put therefore in there, f of x equals x cubed over 8 minus 20 x to the power half, or you could write the square root of x there, doesn't matter, plus x, and then plus the constant of integration, which we've just worked out as 53, and there you go.